Driven out to deep right center field. That ball is gone. See ya. A grand slam. And the Yankees are running away. They're up 12 to 1. Tell you what, it's always a thrill. I don't care if it's a one to one game or a blowout to hit a grand slam, and Torres has not had the best of at bats. The 2 2. Line drive, base hit right field. Gregorius rounding third, heading home, ball game. The Yankees walk it off with a sweep. 8 7, the final of the Bronx. Wow, what a home stand, and what a way to end it. Little inside out shot but Torres you might as well enjoy it. You're not going to see this field for a while you're heading over the pond but what a homestand. The New York Yankees. Glaber Torres punches a single to right and the Yankees. Out slug the Blue Jays eight to seven. Close enough. And the 3-2 pitch. Hit sharply, fielded by Torres. Wonderful play to Gregorius and on to Encarnacion for as nifty a double play as you will ever see. Just to get one out would have been enough. They turn it into a sparkling 4-6-3. Very Javi Baez-like. I mean, this is remarkable. Accurate throw off balance and a quick release. On Garcia. Popped into short right. Torres out. He's going to make an over the shoulder grab right in front of Talkman. Rays leave a man. We're through three. Strikeout. That is smashed. Torres, the diving stop from his backside in time for the final out of the sixth. The Yankees sparkle defensively in the frame. Torres finishing it off with a diving stab and an accurate throw. Yankees lead by one. Base hit to right field. A run will score Kepler's throw. Cut off. And Torres drives in the go ahead run. It's 13 to 12. Three straight hits. Out there, safe there. The inning continues. A tremendous play by Torres behind the second base bag. Go Barber, one swing, or was that Gregorius? Bogarts looking for the hole, but Torres smothers it, pops up, and throws him out. So that finishes it for the Yankees. The 3-2. Torres smashes that fair and down the left field line. Encarnacion will chug home. Torres in a second with an RBI double, and the lead is 6 3. Yeah, big tack on inning for the Yankees here. The big hit. For Torres, another good at bat. Torres has an injured finger on his glove hand, and Glaber gets into one, sends it down the left field line for a grand slam home run. Does Martinez two better? JD's two run homer in the top of the inning gave the Red Sox a brief lead. Now the Yankees go up four to two. I mean, a habit after that. High fly ball to left. Going back is Travis, all the way back, and it's gone. Say what if you had that home run call watching it Travis you didn't know what to do I think he kind of lost it. he didn't know either yeah, this is kind of the twilight and I think he lost the ball and it just kept going off the bat I didn't think it was close I thought he hammered it so grand slam 
Torres with a long one to left. Looks like his second of the night. And there it is. I'll tell you what, this is a typical slugfest back and forth. And Glaber Torres, after going over in the game one, setting a couple of home runs in game two, and this was a no doubter off the bat. He's been so quick to the ball in the last couple of days. This is Glaber's fifth multi home run game of the year. The first four were all against Baltimore. At first, he thought he was in trouble. Torres skies that deep to left center field. That ball is gone. Glaber Torres with a three run bomb. His 12th of the year against Baltimore. And it's an 8-3 game as Leo gets more support. Wow. Uh, I mean, uh, you knew it off the bat. He knew it off the bat. Cleaver Torres likes black and orange. He has crushed the Orioles. That's why Aaron Judge is. Torres powers that to left field and deep. Going back, Peterson. He This is absolutely absurd. <laughs> Glaber the Oriole killer. His 13th of the year against Baltimore. And I can only imagine what Gary Thorne is saying. I'm going to go tell Gary Thorne I've had enough too. <laughs> I am going over right now. Go for it, Paul. Again, the runners go. And a bouncing ball toward the hole. It finds its way through. Another run for the Yanks as Gregorius touches the plate. And it's 2 0. Frustrating inning for Aaron Savalia. Yeah, the Yankees known for their home runs. They used three kind of blue, broken bat type hits. And then by, by a long shot. By a long shot. Keep playing. That one's drilled to right center field. See ya. Back to back as Torres goes yard. It's 4 2 Yankees. Well, Michael, you still got it. I was waiting for a couple home runs. I figured with a couple C. It took Mariano in the booth. I stay here. I ain't going nowhere, <laughs> man. <laughs> Labor Torres has had quite a homestand against the Orioles and now another one here against the Indians. Yeah, because he could have just said, I'll just take the. the, the There's a high play. drive, deep left center field. Canna is back. It is gone. Labor Torres, number 30. And the Yankees get a run closer, 5 2 in favor of the A's. Well, that might have been, and it looks like it's going to be the final pitch thrown by Tanner Roar. Jake Diekman up, and you got uh, a couple of lefties do up. Comes the 2 1. Hit in the air, right center field. Going back is Canna, still going back. Looks up, and it's a two homer night for Glaber Torres. Hits it out to right center field, and it's 5 to 3 with the A's in front. 31 now for Torres. Eight two homer game. Most of them against the Boston or Orioles, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got 13 against yeah. the Orioles this year. Beatty knocked down at second by Torres, throws the first to get him and save a run. Labor Torres, one of the best young players in baseball, with a nice play right here. Torres first knocks it down and then he's got to decide how he's going to throw it without much time from the backside gets it done a few hops there and with the throw getting off and Torres drives that high and deep to center field Fraley back looking up and it is gone Glaber Torres launches his 33rd home run of the year on the first pitch thrown by Malone.